Hey, what's up guys? It's Tech Knight, and I'd like to welcome you to another Buddy Showcase. Today, it's Freya. She's really adorable. It's the second dog that we have in the Buddy list, and she changes colors for a lot of characters. Instead of giving you the list of characters that she does change for, I'm just going to give you the list of characters that she doesn't change for. And those characters are Raster, Eliana, Sylvanos, and Maple. Every other character in the game, she changes colors in some way, shape, or form. So for Claren and Forsburn, Claren's pants will change the color of Freya, and for Forsburn, I'm pretty sure it's his fur that actually changes the, the fur color of Freya. Wow, okay, fur and fur, yes. I just remember those two particularly sticking out to me because as I was going through the colors at first, I was questioning if it did change colors and then went to the custom colors and was like, oh, okay, this makes sense. For Forsburn and for Zetterburn, since I'm remembering now, um, it changes like the inside of the ear and the little line that goes across Freya's chest for, uh, for Forsburn and Zetterburn if I remember correctly. I could be wrong, but you'll see in the video. The only other thing I really want to talk about is the Rivals Direct 2. That Direct was actually insane. It was amazing. I'm not going to talk a whole lot about it because I do kind of want to make a video about just going over the entire Direct and just... I don't know, kind of giving my thoughts or maybe like what's to come in the future and speculation and all those good things. After so many years of the meme of having Rivals of Tether in the game, we're actually going to have it in the game, which is kind of weird considering that that joke is uh, almost five years old now. <laughs> and that's another thing. C can you believe that in a few more months, I think it was September of 2015, that Rivals will officially have been around for five years when we were in early access open beta. We've come a long way and that's actually a good transition because later there's a video in the direct that's shown from 2014 all the way up to like 2023 or something where we have full 3D models of characters. I don't know what's going to be happening, I don't know if it's going to be a, a 2D fighter or still a platform fighter or just something crazy later in the future, but I don't know, in the next three years, I mean, we might have like Rivals Super Mega HD, which will be pretty insane. But the stuff that we are getting sooner rather than later is the Rivals of Tether and the card game that's going to be dropping Creatures of Ether, which I'm personally excited about because I do like card games, I've played a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! I do want y'all's thoughts on the Direct, so comment below and just tell me what you were really excited about and what you thought was good, what you thought was bad. If there is anything that was bad, I personally thought it was all really good and it made me laugh a lot of times and had its really good quirks and a lot of good moments. Stefan, you're great. Adam, you're great. Everybody, the whole dev team, y'all are great. It, it was it was just super good, but I could tell like a lot of the stuff had that Adam Karras spin on it and that good Stefan like acting. Like whenever they did the Orkane plush video where he was killing <laughs> Where he was killing Adam, and then he was gonna go kill Stefan. It, it was just so good. It, it literally had that same vibe, and I just really enjoyed watching it. My reaction video, I'll link it in the description, but I'll also have it at the end that you can click as well and go watch that if you'd like to. But overall, I'm super excited to play the Definitive Edition. It's for some time in the summer, and I do like how Adam asks, well, when's the date? Because that's the question that everyone is asking, and we'll get a date eventually. We waited for so friggin' long for it to get announced to come on the Switch. We can wait a little bit longer. It's gonna come out. We don't have anything else better to do. We're all in quarantine right now, so all we can do is just sit here, play Rivals on Steam and Xbox, and get back on Steam and play in Workshop. I guess there's a couple more things that I can talk about. Since we are in quarantine, that means I have a lot more time than I'm staying at home. Obviously, I'm not working. That gives more time for me to make videos. You can expect some more Rivals videos to come out. You may have noticed I've been posting a couple of Animal Crossing videos as well. I've been playing that game an obnoxious amount. I have over 100 hours now. Um, I have a couple friends that are almost to the 200 hour range, which is pretty insane considering that like, when I wake up, I play till I basically almost go to sleep. I do stop it at some point to go edit videos and all that other stuff. Fact of the matter is, I've just been playing a lot of Animal Crossing and I've been editing a lot of videos. Well, not getting to the editing part quite yet, but I've been filming a lot of videos, most of which were Animal Crossing, and a good chunk were Rivals videos, and I have a lot of ideas just written on my calendar that I really do want to try and bring out before this whole quarantine's over. I want to take advantage of it. 
and be able to post all these videos so you guys can watch it before Definitive Edition drops because there's going to be a lot of content to create once the game comes out. I'll probably do something like a rerun of story mode, the introduction to the new buddies, and just uh, all the other good stuff that's going to be included into the game. If you've made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. I also really appreciate whenever you guys hit that like button, it's super nice of y'all. And if you're not sub, hit that sub button. I was looking at my analytics on the percentage of people that are subbed to percentage of people that aren't subbed, and the people that are unsubbed, uh, that's a high, high percentage, so hit that sub button. I want to try and at least hit 2k subs, maybe before this quarantine stuff's over. That'd be pretty cool, especially since, you know, I'm locked up in the house all day and I can't go anywhere. So I'm just going to be focusing on making more content and trying harder to be a better me, I guess. Better content creator. I gotta improve somehow. With that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. I hope you look forward to more Rivals content and more buddy showcases. The buddies are super cute. Um, I'm going to be working on the next couple. I already know which ones I have left. I think uh, it's like three or four left. I know I still have to do uh, Aldor and uh, Loxodont. I think it's just like Loxodont bot or something like that. The uh, the pigeon Tony Tony Tail Slot, I think his name is. That might be it. I do know that the uh, the pigeon he changes colors for a lot of characters, so that's probably going to be just as long as Freya's video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Please stay safe out there, guys. It's super duper important. Make sure you wash your hands. I don't really think that I need to say it because everybody else is probably already telling you, but I guess I'll just say it again just to, I don't know, remind you. Every five minutes, everybody needs to be reminded, apparently. Only go out for essential stuff, food, or if you have to go to the hospital, um, if you're having any of these symptoms. And just, overall, stay safe. We're all going to get through it. The entire world, not just America. So everybody across the world, stay safe. That's going to do it for me. I hope you guys look forward to another video in the future. Make sure you click one or two of those videos at the end of the video if you haven't seen any of them. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, everyone.